Hello fellow PowerShell engineers, great to have you back. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I wanted to announce to you guys this exciting new product that I've made, Engineer Exams. It's a great product for IT certifications. The database at, at this moment has over 14,000 questions. We've got 42 certifications in it, and it's just a really fantastic product. I'm Jim Tyler, as you know, for those of you who are my subscribers already, I'm a Microsoft MVP, a published author, a PowerShell for Systems Engineers, a 400 page book I wrote a couple years ago on that topic, and uh, make some videos here on PowerShell Engineer. There's a lot of people around the world that learn from my, my YouTube videos on that, and I write a weekly newsletter, PowerShell.news. Uh, check that out if you haven't already. So there's a lot of problems with the existing prep that we have, that we see out there. A lot of it's focused on memorization and there's, there's like a random distribution of questions. You only really get like no insights, you get pass fail. And I just don't think it's very good prep that's out there. But really, in my opinion, there's not a lot of good actual IT certification prep that's very, very good. So I want to build something that was even more robust. And if you take a look at our questions on engineer exams, uh, we've got generic questions. What is Azure storage? That's the kind of stuff I'm seeing online uh, with a lot of competitors and all the questions on engineer exams. I mean, there's, there's some, you know, on the fundamentals ones that, that edge on that a little bit, but even on our fundamentals exams, we, we try to get questions that are scenario based. They are all, I mean, the, the, the goal is to have them all be mostly scenario based because that's what actually helps you guys uh, get, get the, um, quality of questions uh, that, that you be similar to what you see on an exam. So, but more importantly for the vendors, this is what they are wanting to test your actual understanding of the cloud concepts. So every question on engineer exams has an explanation uh, as you answer it. So these aren't like perfect simulations to what the real exams are. You know, we go 60 questions just so we can get some depth to keep things the same and we give the answers as you go. So an exam uh, allows you to uh, actually kind of build your knowledge as you're working through it. Again, the scenario drives at home, gets you thinking, and then it's like, oh, okay, I see, I see the answer is explained now. So really, really critical. But the, the biggest thing that makes our exams the best is that the whole product is engineered on domain level performance insights. So what that means is there are domains on every single exam and they typically give you the distribution of what those questions would be. And frankly, I don't see this a lot in other products. I, I, what I see is uh, just a random assortment of questions and, and to the core, and this actually is important, the, the, the way I've architected this, all on Azure, by the way, built on Azure, uh, VS Code, uh, GitHub, uh, CLI, um, and Copilot uh, in VS Code. Very, very robust tools and platforms. But, uh, what, but what we are seeing is that you just don't have those domain level insights. So this gives you a way to sort of benchmark where you are and then come back and back and back again and keep testing. So not memorization, memorization is important. And I am gonna release some tools down the line that have more memorization tools, but the domain level insights are huge. And it's very important that this is architected around this. Like the, the database is built around domain insights. All the exams are as well. So it's not just a kind of like a cheap, like here, here's the questions. So. Here's how we compare, and uh, this slide jumps the gun a little bit. Uh, five bucks a month is what we're launching as today. Uh, that's gonna be half off. That is a lifetime guarantee. That, that's my gift to you guys. Uh, I, I think that uh, a lot of these solutions are overpriced. I'm not gonna dig into each one of these, um, but I, I think a lot of these solutions are just really overpriced. So it, it is it is uh, critical that um, we make things affordable. So. The real price is gonna be 10 bucks a month for uh, after Cyber Monday coming along, but five bucks a month right now. And uh, I think that's a really good price for the platform because unlike other materials, and we'll get on to that, unlike other materials, like there is an exam engine and there's like hosting re you know, costs to us. So, but that said, my philosophy on this is, I, I think there's a lot of, there's too many courses. Uh, I, I know I have a course on Udemy, I've had it on there a couple years, definitely had a few hundred uh, resources on it, but you know, the bulk of my PowerShell stuff is like for free on YouTube. And I think there's a lot of good guys, John Saville, and Andrew Brown, I mentioned here, Adam Marzak, great, great stuff on YouTube for free. Uh, so I, I think those courses are where you start on the certs. Uh, there's also, uh, free tiers for Azure and AWS at a minimum. Uh, 
And uh, I think that those are great tools as well. You can learn how to build those yourself. And that's kind of probably a better route than getting like some weird simulated lab from some of these companies that offer. But I will say the exams, again, tracking your progress and all that, like you do need a platform for that. And that's where I think engineer exams will really help out. So where we're at right now, we've got 12 certifications, uh, Microsoft and uh, six in AWS. I wanted to have more out the gate on that, but I didn't quite get there. Uh, 12 CompTIAs and 12 Google Clouds. So it's actually over 14,000 questions. Uh, there's 10 exams per cert, there's 60 questions. And uh, I think it's really good. So it's a good start. We're gonna be adding more and more as we keep rolling. And uh, it's, it's a great platform right now. If you're working on any of these uh, core exams, uh, definitely check it out. But I mean, lock in that pricing to five bucks a month. And I think it'll be really good. Cyber Monday, like I said, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off, uh, you know, midnight, and we'll go back to 10, which I still think is a bargain. But you know, as a gift to you guys for all the work I put into this platform, I, I, I do have hosting costs, you know, right? Now I'm very much about the community, but uh, five bucks a month to me is a reasonable cost. And it just blows my mind. There's sixty dollars for exams that aren't even domain targeted out there. There's some crazy stuff going on. And I really felt like there was a gap in the market to build something really cool. So check it out, guys. Thank you so much, fellow PowerShell engineers. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends to get the deal. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.